Welcome back to another Mind Test mod review. Today we are looking at the Magma Conduits mod, which adds, amongst other things, gigantic volcanoes. This is a naturally occurring structure. Um, ignore the little invisible bits there. That's that's not usual. Um, it just it's so big that I didn't get the whole thing rendered in already. Also, I think I have flying no clip on, so let's turn that off. Let's take a little hike down, a little trek to the bottom of this, just so we can get a a good feeling for the just the complete monstrosity that this is. This thing is so huge, you won't believe it. All right, so we're pretty much sea level, right? I mean, that's that's sea level right there. So we, we's going to start climbing. And uh, it is, thankfully, uh, at least this particular one, is relatively scalable. There's not uh, a lot of sheer drop-off on it. I've never personally seen a real-life volcano in person. And uh, I don't think I would be stupid enough to go climbing around on one. Because, you know... Lava pretty much will kill you, um, and even just the heat from it will like burn your lungs out and stuff. It, they're no joke. But anyways, I've never been around, so I don't know how realistic this is. But I feel like this is probably probably pretty realistic because you figure uh, when uh, lava bubbles over the top, when it erupts, when it blows its top, blows its cap, whatever term you want to use, uh, the lava flows over the edges of it. And lava being a liquid, molten rock after all. It's highly viscous, I believe that's the correct pronunciation. So it slowly kind of oozes over and makes a nicely sloped descent. So we have now made it up to the top. Uh, and let me just look. We are at 132, so about 130 nodes tall. And uh, obviously, filled with lava. Um, there's also, I assume this is obsidian. Obsidian, and then we have glow obsidian from the magma conduits mod. And of course, we have lava. Now, for the sake of this video, I have turned damage off. Because, well, we're going to do this. We're going to go swimming in lava. I have fly and fast on. And I'm going down. There's a couple things I wanted to show here. Um, now, could you ever actually do this in-game? Well, see, if you have armor, I believe 3D armor. I should really turn no clip off. I believe 3D armor provides some armors that let you uh, live under underwater in lava. Um, so you potentially would be able to do this now this one i think is going to end up filling with lava so let's let's sit back out and down and see what else we can find all right so looks like we have a dungeon here that's pretty much been filled with lava all right nothing too exciting there let's continue on downward now i uh i went down in here earlier just to see see what there was to see all right we got some caves here uh, the cave continues out um, for a little while at least, and it looks like the lava flows down, and it's finding some other passage that it can flow down through, but, uh, worry not, it looks like that actually connects back up to the main stream of magma, or lava. What's the difference between magma and lava? I don't actually know. Um, interesting. <clears throat> I'm not a geologist. If I was, I wouldn't be doing this. I would be making thousands of dollars studying rocks, I guess. Sounds really boring. I'm sure it's not that boring if people do it. Another cave, okay, boring, whatever. Let's get back in. Eventually we'll, we'll reach the bottom. I did air quotes, of course, you, you can't see that because, well, you know, here we are, because they're air quotes. So there is this 
this beautiful large cave that we find ourselves in. And we find uh, also that there are several other large bits of magma. Now this one, uh, or lava, whatever. This one doesn't really seem to go anywhere. But we will find this very interesting tidbit. And again, you would have to have some kind of armor that would allow you to do this. But I mean, look at this. We just got Mies just floating in the lava all over the place. And like, there's a ton of it. And if we go down here, we got in the walls. Very easy to see because obviously this is red and these are not red. Uh, just some sand. Okay, that's kind of, kind of odd. We've got some gravel. Uh, who cares about gravel? That's useless. It's got no value to me. I also seem to have gotten lost maybe a little bit. Is this where we want to? No, this is, I don't think this is where I want to go. Uh, I want to get back out to where we were. Where was that? I remember that. Uh, that doesn't go up. Okay, well, cause I don't remember. I'm just gonna turn no clip on and clip through the wall. Was I was I too high? I don't know. Where's the other lava? I wanna get back to... Okay, I guess I was really quite far away. Or this is... Oh, I was too far down, I need to go back up. Get me out of that. So as you will notice with all of this red here, there's a lot of there's a lot of damage. I mean, there's a lot of lava. Or magma, because it is, after all, magma conduits. But let's let's continue on down. So we're at negative 1,300 right now. Uh, that's about as far down as I went previously. I'm not sure how far this actually goes. Um, I mean, you get to a point, and it's like, okay, probably don't need to keep going down. I think we get the point. It's, it's deep. Um, one thing I'm not sure about is if the lava armor lets you breathe under lava. Like, will you suffocate in lava? And if so, would there be an armor combo you could wear that would provide enough fire protection while also oxygen regen-ing enough so you wouldn't suffocate and die? Because, I mean, I'm doing fly and fast, so we're, we're traveling at a, a decent speed here. But this is still taking quite a while. And we definitely would have run out of oxygen by now. And, well, you know, would have perished, which would be terrible. So as you can see, it's quite deep. We're down to two and a half thousand. Um, if we find a, a place where I can get out, this might be a good place. Okay, it's, I mean, it's not, it's not the best place in the world, but it'll work. And if I grab this, and I'll place it right there, and some right here. This is supposed to, this is supposed to do something, I think. Oh, hey, it works. All right, so the grass and dirt burns and turns into sand. Yeah, 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 there we go. I mean, we didn't get to see it for very long because, well, the lava covered it. But yeah, that happens. Also, if you're using, what is it, name generator and named waypoints, I believe those are both also created by Facetier who made this mod. Um, wow, that is, that is chonkers. There, you'll get uh, waypoint markers for where volcanoes are. It's all configurable in the settings file. So you can, have I actually reached the bottom? No stinking way. I actually reached the bottom. I honestly didn't think there was a bottom to it. All right, so about negative 3000 approximately is the bottom of that particular one. That's not to say that every single instance in a map would go down this deep. Um, it, I mean, it might be, but I don't know. I haven't found any other volcanoes in this one. I spent uh, about 10 minutes, I'd say, flying around before this video trying to find 
a volcano so we could explore it. What was that green? Oh, those are meese blocks. Oh, there's a puddle of water. Cool down a little bit. <clears throat> I believe there's also just, like this is that main one going up to the volcano, but here's a secondary one. That's just kind of a, uh, a conduit of lava. Uh, basically just, uh, you know, an underground cave, but instead of being full of air, it's full of lava making it at least 30 times more exciting to explore because well i was going to say you'll never know when you'll bump into lava but you kind of actually do a lot of the time because you'll bump into the hot stone before you actually hit the the lava which will serve as a as a good warning that oh hey i'm going someplace and it's gonna be hot i should probably take care and be cautious so I don't end up fried like a like a potato that was just the first thing that came to my mind so I end up fried like a steak that's a little over well done I think if you cook your steaks that far I mean honestly if you cook anything in lava it's a little over well done I forget exactly what lava is but um, I do remember somebody on YouTube backyard scientist doing a video in which he threw chicken into lava man-made lava is man-made lava a thing i don't know but he melted lava rock so i mean i guess it's kind of man-made because he heated it um but yeah it probably not wise would not recommend a zero of ten uh yeah also i completely lost the oh hey i may have found it Nope, that's not it. I completely lost the lava that the volcano came from. But that's pretty much it, honestly. Is this it again? No, this is this is just some other lava underground. Okie dokie. And, and uh, you know, volcanoes, which that's the coolest part. Uh, oddly enough, I had had this mod for I don't know how long. And I didn't even know I had it. But I saw the volcano on the Freedom Test server and had made an inquiry as to which mod provided it and got an answer and then realized oh i have this mod and i've just never done a review on it so i thought well it would be only fitting to do a review on it seeing as how i had my interest interest sparked from seeing it on a server so that is the magma conduits mod for mind test obviously links are all on my website which is linked down in the video description as always thanks for watching and I will see you next time.